goodness, look at all these letters. Uh, all right, better get started. Zordon Hooves asks, Dear Derpy, I ordered 50 muffins from Pinkie Pie, but I never got them. I know you delivered the mail, so you wouldn't have anything to do with me not getting them, would you? Nope. Not cool. Bye. Okay. Oh, those were good. Tourniquet Muffin asks, Dear Miss Derpy, do you think it's true that some muffins aren't meant to be eaten and that some play a greater purpose in their little muffin lives? Do you think I could be one of those muffins someday? I don't think I'd be very tasty anyway. Huh. I thought it would be every little muffin's dream to be enjoyed as a delicious food. But I suppose some muffins get to travel or might wind up in a very special place. Even royal ponies can enjoy muffins. In the end, though... I think all muffins should be eaten, because becoming moldy muffins is just so tragic. GoofyFan73 said, Hey Derpy, why did you drop all those things on Twilight Sparkle? I didn't! Twilight Sparkle had her own gravity that pulled all those things on top of her. <laughs> no dropping here. <laughs> Blazer787 asked, Dear Derpy, have you ever broken the fourth wall before? It's really fun to do. Just think about how many packages you could deliver and how fast you could deliver them. More packages means more muffins. If you haven't, you should really learn. Talk to Pinkie Pie for that one. I hear she's an expert on it. Hmm. Well, does time and space count as a fourth wall? Because the doctor always says it's more like a ball, and I don't think walls are ball-shaped. Brantley Scott asks, have you ever thought of making a muffin sword? <laughs> That's just silly. I want to eat muffins, not stab ponies with them. Sergeant16bit says, Hello, Derpy. I plan on transforming into a pony and living in Ponyville for a while. I'd like some advice from someone who was born a pony and knows the land better than me. 1. Is it necessary to have a good singing voice? Well, no, not entirely. Lots of ponies can sing, but then again, lots of them can't. Scootaloo, for example. Now there's a pony who can't sing. 2. Do you have any suggestions on where I can stay while I'm in Ponyville? Like a hotel or something? Ponyville isn't very big. You can find a small inn just north of the town square. 3. What should I do if the transformation into a pony suddenly makes me attracted to female ponies? Well, if you're a pony by then, it should be okay. Just do what feels natural. I'm sure every pony will like you. 4. Would the local ponies panic at the fact that I'm technically an alien? If not, would they be interested enough to hear about me and where I came from? Doctor? Is that you? Because if it is you, I think I might need to change my last answer about being attracted to female ponies. Edgeworth Zero asks, Dear Derpy Ditsy Do Hooves, I hope this letter finds you well. I was wondering if you ever had to deliver any mail to places outside of Equestria. If so, which is your favorite? And what is it like? Oh, I usually stay in Equestria, mostly around Ponyville and the outskirting towns. Long-distance packages get transferred at the next checkpoint. Killahoho, I, I think I think that's how you say it. <clears throat> Dear Ditsy Do, I have seen some of your answers to your questions, and I am also asking you about three things. One, how embarrassing was it to go north and west for the South Birds? Ooh, going west was extremely embarrassing. Uh, the wind currents were off, and directions are hard when I'm not always sure what way I'm looking. The north flying wasn't my fault, though. Blame the doctor for that. Two, how did you feel when Rainbow Dash did the sonic rain boom? Oh, it was amazing! I thought Rarity's wings were pretty until Rainbow Dash made a big, giant boom of rainbowy goodness. Three, does Dinky Hooves have many friends and a good edumacation? I mean, education? P.S. How many muffins do you receive on your birthday? Or do you call it a derp day? Well, Dinky's been making friends just fine. And she's a very smart little filly. She's going to grow up to be a whiz kid. I know it. Also, I never counted the muffins on my birthday. Ice Mataro asks, How many muffins could you eat without getting a stomach ache? And also, if I order a muffin, would you let me at least have a munch of it? I don't know, I just eat muffins until I get a tummy ache. I lost count after a while. If you ordered a muffin, of course you'd get it. I wouldn't deny any pony their muffins. Well, okay, almost any pony. Symbol 
2112 asks, can I has hug? Ooh, of course. Two, what is your view on sea ponies? I've never seen a sea pony before. They sound fun. Three, can you please say shooby doo? Shooby doo, shoo, shooby doo. Four, who is your best friend? Aside from that muffin, of course. Uh, well, right now my best friend is the doctor. Five, can I have another hug? Okay. Hmm. Matthew T. Raindo asks, I have three questions for you. One, when it comes to naming, do you prefer being called Derpy Hooves or Ditsy Do? Either is fine. Derpy is my nickname. Ditsy's my name, but everyone calls me Derpy. Two, when it comes to headgear, would you prefer a top hat or a bowler hat? Ooh, that's a tough question. I think both are cute. And three, are you aware of the poison joke? What do you believe would occur should you come into contact with the plant? Poison joke, huh? It would probably make me allergic to muffins. That would really suck. Benamore asks, what are some fun things to do at 2.30 in the morning? Eat muffins, raid fridges, roll around in paper bags, and sleeping. Mecca Knuckles asks, hey Derpy, how would you like being or the idea of being a model for Photo Finish's photographs, even if it somehow involves muffins. Also, how do you feel about Rainbow Dash calling you a feather brain? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't think some pony like Photo Finish would want to have me as a model. I, I mean, she always finds such cute ponies. It would be nice, though. Huh? Rainbow Dash called me a feather brain? I, I didn't hear that. Lots of ponies call me a feather brain, though. Even I call me a feather brain. I'm not dumb, but that doesn't mean I don't mess up. Jay asks, Hiya, Derpy. What do you think about Bon Bon and Lyra? I like sneaking up on them sometimes. Just last week, I popped out of a well just to surprise them. McCaff asks, How many apples could Applejack buck if Applejack could buck apples? Well, definitely not the whole orchard. But she already bucks apples. What kind of silly question is that? Mike from Madison asks, Dear Derpy, I heard a rumor that in Equestria, baby ponies are delivered by the mail services. Is this true? And if it is, how many baby ponies have you delivered? Oh, that's just a rumor. At least, I think it is. I never had to deliver a baby pony before. I think he wasn't exactly delivered in the mail either. Jeff asks, Dear Ditsy, I am a 17-year-old stallion that has fallen in love with a young 16-year-old mare. Aww. I would like to tell her, but I don't know how. Do you think you can help? How about a nice love letter and a pastry gift basket? She'll be sure to like that. Life Up Studios asks, Derpy, have you met a cyber mare yet? And are they scary? A what mare? I don't know what you're talking about. Do you like raisin muffins? I hate them. But I like all muffins. Raisins are yummy. Do you love Dr. Hoo -hoo -hoo Hooves? Of... What? What? Lo lo love? Um, um, he he's a silly alien pony who doesn't say my name right. And he's totally crazy and weird and... And the only pony who understands me. I, I mean, he's just my friend, I think. Is an assistant a friend? I hope he thinks of me as a friend. Amy asks, Hey Derpy, your daughter is so cute and she's pretty. How did you raise her? With lots of love and good bedtime stories. Oh, sometimes we travel. Evan asks, Dear Derpy Hooves, what is your hobby? P.S. I've enclosed a box of blueberry muffins and a napkin. Use the napkin, okay? Ooh, what's the napkin for? Well. I'll try using it. Um, anyway, I, I deliver things, bake, and I'm apparently good at catching ponies when they fall. The doctor falls a lot. Lucas asks, Dear Derpy, what do you think of the great and powerful Trixie? <laughs> she's got nothing on me. She can't even cross her eyes. And I bet she's never seen another planet before. <laughs> Alpha Mike asks, 
Dear Derpy, despite it being a daydream of Twilight Sparkle, would Dinky really mock another pony's pain by laughing at their misfortune? Well, of course not. She knows better than to be mean to other ponies. She's the nicest little filly in town. If you have one bucket that holds three gallons and another bucket that holds five gallons, how many muffins do you have? Well, I have the same amount of muffins I've always had. Oh, and two buckets. If a muffin falls in the middle of the forest and no one's around, does it have a flavor? Well, it has a smell all right, and I will find it, and it will be eaten. And if it's eaten, it will have a flavor. Kyle asks, have you ever dealt with actual zombie ponies? Uh, kind of, but I don't want to talk about that. And finally, lots of ponies have asked who Dinky's father is. And, uh, since there's so many, I won't be reading all the letters about it. Um, this is a hard question to answer. See, um, I don't really have a name to mention or, well anything really i i don't know her papa's name i'm i'm her mama and that's all that matters right i'm sure all of you can understand later but right now isn't the time there's probably a lot of questions i haven't answered but that's because i have a lot of questions um if anybody else wants to ask questions please please send them to derpy at ponyfy.me I will answer some of the questions that have been asked on some of the previous videos, but I won't be able to answer any more questions on this video or any after it. Sorry, it's just, there's a lot of questions, and I can't get to all of them. I have a lot to do, you know.